Tegan McGrady from the Washington Spirit. Tegan, welcome. Obviously, you were one of the first teams to arrive. Just how the last week or so have been going, how the team's feeling on and off the field. Just a few comments. Um, it's definitely different being in a hotel 24-7, but I think we've all adjusted nicely. Um, we love playing, you know, games. We try and reserve the game area anytime that we can. We love spending time together. But, of course, you know, we're trying to do it safely, um, you know, to really keep the entire village safe. So I think we've all kind of found our groove now of what we kind of like doing during the daytime. So I think we've all kind of, you know, really fit in well now. Um, obviously, your opening match was originally scheduled for tomorrow. And then with the last minute switch, it got bumped up to, to Saturday. How did suddenly having a kickoff three days earlier impact your preparation? I think, you know, the team was stunned at first, but when we got to training, we said it's no different than the adversity that we faced all year long, that no matter what, we were going to step out onto that field and we were going to pre prepare the way that we needed to, whether the game was three days earlier, three days later, that wasn't going to stop our game plan of what we wanted to accomplish on the field. And it just meant switching up a little bit in our training sessions of what we were doing. But other than that, I think we felt confident after we got our game scheduled to still go out there and perform as best as we could. And how has the chemistry felt among the back four from your perspective, having missed a lot of time last year? What is Richie looking for from you in that fullback position specifically? Yeah, it's definitely been some time since I've gotten on the field um, for a couple of games. but. I feel like our back four is very strong. We communicate very well. We know the tendencies of one another. We aren't afraid to yell when we have to. And, you know, we really like to think of ourselves along with Aubrey as a brick wall back there. Um, I think we're doing great so far. And I know there are some things that we can fine tune coming up into our next game. But also as an outside back, I think I'm definitely, you know, I thought I had a strong game defensively the other night with the help of my back four. But I think the next thing that I need to focus on is definitely getting up the field. And that's what Richie is definitely looking for me in, in my offensive um, attacking role. And obviously your next game against North Carolina, how can you guys try to neutralize their dangerous attack? I think it's going to take a lot of communication. Um, we're going to have to be very strict within our lines, um, offensively and defensively, to make sure that we aren't susceptible to their counter, which we know they're very strong at. I also think we have a great counter attack, so I think we want to use that to our advantage when we do win the ball, especially higher up the field if we can. But I think that it's going to be a really tough game, as we all know. Carolina is an amazing team, and it's definitely not going to be an easy game whatsoever. But I feel that we've been working our best to make sure that we're ready to be, um, you know, as one unit together on the field. And the other night we saw it look like a pretty painful collision. Um, can you just tell us how you're feeling today and yeah. now? Um, I'm definitely doing better. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you can see the swelling, sometimes you can't. Uh, just a nice forehead to the cheekbone, but everything is great moving forward. Swelling's gone down, and I feel great to get back out on the pitch today and was practicing great.